Right guys, <clears throat> Gaft is back with the explanation to the switch wallet. You're going to need two brown pay envelopes or two envelopes that are the same. You are going to need a top of the box gaff. You are then going to get another playing card. You're going to drop this over the top and then drop four magnets on top of this playing card. So this lines up perfectly. Hopefully you've got a top of the box from the previous trick. And you're going to stick this. You're going to coat the back with some glue stick. You're going to stick it to the back of one of the envelopes. And then you're going to get the other envelope and wherever the flap is you're going to get the envelope on the opposite side and you're going to stick it on top of that so you will have a, an opening on the top and an opening on the bottom or the top it's basically like a himba it's a switch wallet so you're going to stick those together when you've got them stuck together you will have something which looks like this it's got an opening on the bottom with a card in and an opening on the bottom with the card in. Now I don't want to get confused so this goes this way round. At some point you're going to um, steal these cards off the bottom. So on the bottom of this wallet I have a two of spades regular, a double backed playing card, then I've got a face down king of hearts and then I've got my top of the box gaff and this will sit on the bottom of the envelope. But when it's round this way, no one's ever gonna see it. And in here, in this one, we have the King of Hearts. Now, whatever card is here, you need the opposite card here. So that's the two of spades, so that's the correct card. Because that's gonna be on the bottom here. So, in the other side obviously you're going to have the king of hearts already in the envelope so on this side we have the two of spades sorry so you've got the two of spades on the bottom and you've got the two of spades on the bottom of this stack that goes on top of there but you're going to be starting from this way round, which has got the king of hearts so it's easy to construct just need some envelopes a bit of glue and some magnets right start the trick by saying well, you don't even need to bring out the envelope. You can bring this out, you can bring this out after if you want, but we've got an envelope. We'll come back to that in a minute. Um, because all the dirty is already on the bottom of the envelope, Spectator's got a free choice to shuffle the cards. And when they're done shuffling and cutting these cards, I'm gonna go back to my envelope. I'm gonna place it momentarily on the top so I can strip off the cards on the bottom whilst I'm opening this up. You can then take this deck away if you want and show them that in the envelope, if I can get it out, we have a card, we'll leave it there. In fact, I'll show you what it is, it's the King of Arts. Now you freely shuffle these cards and we've landed on this one card. You're just gonna lift up the top card and show it to be a perfect match. Oh shit, it's not a perfect match, is it? It's the two of spades, Never mind. Hang on, we'll do something else. Place this two back face up on the top and then take this card and place it back into the envelope. Now a lot of you guys will have probably seen the switch. It's practically impossible to turn this over with a fixed camera. But in the real world you've got plenty of time just to turn this wallet over and switch it out. So just place it on the table. You've turned it over at this point. Get the spectator to put their hand over it so I can't touch it. And now because you've got your top of the box gaff here. You are going to do a triple lift now. But because you've got the top of the box gap, which is a thick hard card, you can easily reach up and get that triple lift. We don't even need to think about it. So we put the king back in there. We're just going to turn the two over and place it on the table. This is now that double backer, which is covering the fact that you've got this card here. Give the card, the wallet a little tap. And the king is now here. So if the king's here, then in this wallet, open the wallet up, reach in. Pull out the card and it is in fact to a space. You can show the wallet to be empty if you want. Being careful, I haven't stuck this one down too while well. it's flashing a little bit on the corners. But basically that was it. Nothing too taxing, just a little bit of arts and crafts. Um, one thing I will say about these pay envelopes is they are very flimsy. 
So when you're reaching in to get this card, there's a good chance you might rip this. Because you've got that thick hard card in the middle, it's making the wallets quite stiff. I mean, it might work if you just stick the magnets on the back of here, but I think because this paper's quite thin, the magnets might show through. That's why I'll put it on this card. So it might not show through so much. So that's how I did it, guys. It's nice and simple, nothing to it. So comment, subscribe, like, and let me know how you get on with it. Cheers.